Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. That every last part of the Muslim world was colonized, that the white people came and they transformed everything that we ever were. And we started to remake our societies in their image, whether we're aware of that or not. Um, and that we have to, to, to decolonize our minds. We have to decolonize our hearts. There was a brother, um, an African-American brother named Mahmoud Al-Kati. He gave me an example that helped me understand this phenomenon. He said, when, a, when an elephant is small, you know, a, a baby bull elephant, they have to take very, very heavy chains and tie it around their legs and then they have to attach those chains to very heavy rocks or cement uh, or poles that are firmly rooted in the ground, anchored in concrete, because that bull will try to run and free itself from its oppression, from its captivity. And you have to keep a heavy lash at all times and whip that elephant. But once that elephant is broken, and you'll be able to keep it tied up with any loose piece of string that you put around its foot, tie it to any inconsequential peg, and it will remember every time it tried to run before, and it won't run. This is the, the reality of our situation um, as, as Muslims today. We've suffered a serious trauma um, that we have not openly addressed, and that's the trauma of imperialism and colonialism and what it's done to our societies, and no part of the Muslim world was spared from it. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her, and she'll give you a million dollars for it. You'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you, we're using rocks for currencies, chump. <laughs> <laughs>